Hi there, it's Neil at Good To Know. I'm in the Thai countryside, underneath the bright sun. <laughs> and uh, just to give you an idea of um, really what the, the Thai countryside is like, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip the uh, camera because the, um, the back camera is better. So there we go on my phone. And you see here, we've got the rice paddy, rice fields, and they've harvested. They've harvested already. Um, I believe in Thailand they can do uh, at least two harvests or something like two and a half harvests because of the good weather. The amount of rain that falls, the sunshine and the heat. So it's pretty impressive. So look how nice it is. Um, Chiang Mai is very easy to get out, out of the old town and into the countryside. Um, we're about probably about 20 kilometers, 25 kilometers maximum from the uh, town, old town center and um, yeah so I come out taking some noodles and the noodle shops just over that way and um, and there's a buffet place over here as well uh, probably open in the evenings okay so uh, we are going to we are going to uh, sort the camera out that's for one thing there we are we're going to make a move um, to Ban Tawai, which is um, an artisan. It's actually advertised as a creative village. Um, there's a lot of wood carving and all sorts of gifts you can buy or things for the home. So, without further ado, here's the car. And uh, let's make a move. Okay, I'll let someone take this over. And we'll continue the live stream and we can uh, follow the journey there. Let's go. I have to go up here and turn around. It's wider here. Uh, there's an entryway in here. I'm going to turn around here. The shade is better, isn't it? So it's just a couple of kilometres up the road. You can follow our journey there. And it's clearly sign. It's like a, a big gateway arch. watch those rocks. Traffic's a little bit busy. Okay, nothing coming. Yep, there's the noodle restaurant. So, what other dishes do they serve, uh, Dua? So Tom Yum noodles, and I had the plain pork broth noodles. Yeah. So um, egg noodles. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What else do they uh, serve on the menu? It's kind of um, mixed um, like they mix spicy um, uh -huh. pork salad. Yeah. Oh, okay. And what dessert did you have? Um, it's a black jelly. Yeah. With um, milk and ice. Uh -huh. um, coconut milk, yeah? No, no, just normal milk. Oh. Right, some arches here. It's usually a, a sign, let's say Bantawai. Does that say Bantawai in Thai? Yeah, Bantawai. Yeah, so we're here. So it's not even two kilometres, it's about half a kilometre. So there we go. Lana, Lana Handicraft Centre, 200 metres. And it's funny, um, in Chiang Mai and other parts of town, they have um, <clears throat> got lots of canals, small canals, large canals, and obviously the, the bigger rivers. But the small canals, what they often do, as you can see here, is they have put one road on one side and then one road on the other. 
and sometimes, <clears throat> excuse my throat again, sometimes traffic goes up one, like this one that I'm on, and then down the other. Some people like this guy, this pickup truck that's just coming now, you see those Mercedes over there and motorbikes, they're going down, we're going up. But that big chick, uh, pickup truck there uh, decided, oh, I'll go down the up road. <laughs> Oh, and here's a big truck coming down. Yeah, so it's, they really should be consistent, but people are not in, uh, in this country. Not everybody, but some people are not consistent. But I don't say anything to drivers. Don't make any indication because then you might get into trouble. Some people might not appreciate you being disrespectful to them. So you just drive, just be patient, do your thing, and you get there safely, even if you're a couple of minutes late. On to Y, here we are. So here's the entrance to the, the village proper, and as you can see there, you can read. Don't forget you can use this for up and down, okay? Can you read that there, Ban Y Creative Village, and the people are creative and creating all the time um, so the OTOP brand was uh, instituted founded by one of the Thai previous presidents and his government to uh, promote uh, creativity and tourism and see lots of things I'll have a proper tour as I walk around we're just going to find a space in the shade hopefully and the good thing today is it's a weekend and a lot of people are open we came here the other day quite late and most places are oh. closed already no i've got the wrong one now it's just pressing down keep your finger off there up, up how there okay press upwards okay so um mm. Might have to park on the other side, uh, but I'm going to go up further here. Oh, it's okay. There's a coffee shop here, and I think there's parking space here. Yeah, yes, yeah. just. And we're in the shade a little bit. Yeah. It's fine. We're not blocking access or anything. It's just a little bit. It's not wide. It's not very wide. Oh. I think I should just go back a little bit. I put myself in a little bit. Okay, that will do. So, let's go and have a look outside. Thank you, Dua. You'll get to see the sights at least, not the smells, but it doesn't smell too bad. It doesn't smell of anything really, just fresh air. So, um, yeah. So, let's just have a look. So, all sorts of wooden furniture for the house. Oh, we've got a bar here. That's handy for wine and for beer and some. Uh, other, let's turn this right around the right way. You can see. Some Buddha. It's obviously wood that they could use, but it looks very old. Saudi crab. Oh. So a rocking. A rocking scooter. <laughs> Very good. Plenty of furniture at home. That's a very good quality table. Very good. Very nice indeed. So I'll go back around because I can't really get through there. The lady's working. So you see they do work during the day. Um, and along this um, small canal um, at regular intervals, there are places where 
the people can sit and eat and actually do some work as well and, and relax. Oh, it's massage. Actually, massage going on there. So as you can see, it's busier today. Um, so busier today. Uh, don't really want that sun, do we? The flare. If the sun and the flare continues, I will uh, switch back to the other camera. Yeah, there's plenty of room to get through. And uh, you can get to see. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Lots of decoration. Um, boxes, cabinets. Things actually, you know, to put... Um, like, there's different festivals during the year. Um, cultural festivals and religious linked to, to the Buddhism and so for example there's one festival where you honor your business owner or your boss the manager or the owner of the business and so they give gratongs uh, the floral gratongs and so often people put them uh, as a sign of respect into raised areas these are things like in front of me, all the gold and stuff, this, uh, you know, very intricate. Um, these probably would be in temples. And uh, symbols of Uchuda, Uchuda, maybe that's the name of the owner, or the kind of things that you can see here. Uh, but these, I'm pretty sure, will be in uh, temples rather than people's homes. Oh, what's that over there? Oh, he's selling sticky rice, maybe? It's some, some kind of food. Fortunately, you do have some noisy scooters in this country and these definitely to decorate the home and a business even as well to attract people and like, you know, just make things pretty. Here's a, a lamp shop, some sale items. So if you don't know where this is, what I'll do is I'll uh, put in the description below um, a Google map of how to of the actual location and then you can just type in Ban Tawai B-A-A-N T-A-W-A-I and you can get uh, directions from where you live in Chiang Mai or even uh, Greater Thailand A little bit dark in there. There's some artwork over there. You'll be able to see. Oh, some very pretty things. And more wooden furniture, you know, utensils, uh, practical stuff for the house, the storage, and um, organizing things. Make things look pretty. There's some bird houses there. There perhaps uh, for umbrellas at the door. Tables. Lots of coasters here. Here cups of tea and coffee. When we take a walk through here, uh, I know what's coming up actually, because I've been here a couple of times before. Oh, and this is a, a good shop. I bought something for my brother uh, in here. One of these very ornate um, temples, wooden temple. You know, lots of reclining Buddha there. I think this is the one that I bought for my brother. I sent that by Thailand Post and there was no problem. And you can see there, there are different uh, styles, sizes, and prices. Wow, isn't this pretty? A little coffee shop in the middle of, uh, in the middle of the village. Very nice. And it's a little cooler in here. I wish they'd have some fans there. They've got some big 
carp there. Look at those. Oof. Very big carp. Now, I did come here um, last week, but unfortunately, like I said, um, most of the places are closed up because we got here a little bit late at five and everything closes up by six. So if you want to come, come before six. Best come before five. <laughs> Somebody grab. Oh, we've got very pretty handbags here. Uh, I think made from, I'll have to ask Dua, I uh, can't imagine it's uh, bamboo, it's probably some kind of leaf, very pretty handbags. And they're all wrapped up to protect them, and they go up on the wall as well, big ones. More bags. Oh, I have to excuse the music. I have to take it away because the music will be copyright, and I don't want my uh, my stream to be taken down. I think they allow you um, three seconds of copyright. So monks, elephants. And here, oh, different kind of clothes. Mainly scarves there. Very pretty, very colourful. Saudi crab. And you can see up in the top left there, more traditional lana kind of clothes like these as well. And they even have um, the white one's uh, lana influence, whereas the red one above it is more like influence from the Karen tribe, which is um, one of the hill tribes of Thailand and the surrounding countries. Oh, and I think there's a restaurant over there. Oops, let's get it the right way. Mm -hmm. Not sure if they've completed yet. And there's like a restaurant over here. I might go back to the coffee shop. I think I'll do that. And here is maybe this is temple. These are spirit houses. Spirit houses, what are spirit houses? Right, we'll talk about, oh dear, dog barking. We'll talk about spirit houses when we get to the coffee shop. It's a nice place, isn't it? Yes, pretty sure it's a, a temple. It's got the uh, Buddhism, uh, not Buddhism, so Hindu wheel of life, which is incorporated into uh, Buddhism. People praying. Oh, you can't see in there, but I can see there's more artwork. And we'll go over here. Okay. More decorations. Lots of these Thai ladies. Are they wearing Lana clothes? Pretty sure the style is Lana, yes. Yes, it is. So, what have we got to talk about? Mm, one, spirit houses, what are those and why are they important? And two, uh, the different regions in Thailand, the different provinces, if you like, or areas. Okay, so, oh dear, sun's walls on me. So this, uh, I'm gonna have to put it back around the other way because with the sun on me, um, it will get a little bit lower soon, in another hour or two. Um, for now, I'm gonna go to the coffee shop. It's nice, it's cooler in there and it's not as bright, but it's still good enough for my camera, okay? So let's go back to there. And we'll order ourselves a cool drink, I think. And this lady saying hello to us. Hello. <laughs> Do 
you some cinematic stuff. No one is here, though. That's the only problem. There's usually at least one person here serving. And there's the menu. Reasonable prices. We're not in the old town now or the city. So you can expect reasonable prices. Mm, what do I fancy? Ice lemon tea. Green tea. That would be nice. It's just some water, to be honest. Uh, I'll need to go and ask if there's anyone around. I am surprised because it's, you know, the, uh, it's like uh, 2 p.m., 2.30. And um, there are lots of people around, so there's someone not serving. Couture crab? Couture crab? No. <laughs> so I just asked this lady, a pointer, and I said, uh, you know, like, where, where is there someone to serve? Uh, non blau crap. Non blau. Oh, well, we got to wait. Okay, we got to wait then. We'll set this down and we'll just sit here and have a chat. I want a nice, uh, wanted a bottle of water. Okay. It looks like she can't serve for me. Some pretty amazing things in this place. Oh yes, just before I set this down and we talk, um, I explain some things. Look at this, the ornateness. That is carved from wood. The wood must be, oh, it's relatively, it looks thin, but it's, it's relatively thick. If you just take a look at the thickness there, you can see. Yeah, there. So it's about uh, half a centimetre, five millimetres, maybe a little bit more. And that carving there of uh, an angel, basically, I think. There are two angels, and we've got the fish. So it's um, another fish. So it's some kind of mythological representation rather than real, obviously. Or they're kind of imagining, you know, underwater, a kind of mermaid <laughs> and the fish. What other mythological things. Yes, these, the krut, I think they're krut, krut. Um, I will ask Dua later. And if there's any, as ever, if there's any information that uh, you find interesting and you want to know, and you sort of like you see something in the video. And, uh, Neil, uh, what's that? Uh, what's that all about? Why, why, is, why have we got those pictures? Why have we got those statues? Why have we got those models? Uh, you know, in Thailand. Uh, I will do my best to find out and explain. Always getting to know new things and old things here on Get to Know. Okay, I'm going to put this down. Kutor uh, Krab. Kutor Krab. Uh, just there's a man over there I'm trying to get his attention. Uh, let's see if he. Well, he probably won't be able to help me either. All right, I'm going to put this down in its holder, and then I can put the. Turn the camera around. So. Hi there. So actually, I think this is the fourth time that I've visited. Visited Bantawai. I visited two years ago, once last year, and two two times. The second time. Uh, in a week this year so oh, we nearly got the whole uh, year out of the way already nearly so in December now it's December 2nd and um, so spirit houses was the first topic and second come to that one next spirit houses uh, when someone has a plot of land and they build on the land either a business or a home they will put at the um, see which side usually goes on 
the left side, I think. Someone may correct me. But either side, as long as it's at the front of the property, just behind the wall or gate, um, so off to one side, what happens? The owners of the home or someone in the business will go out in the morning, uh, take some joysticks, slight joysticks, and put offerings. <laughs> join a group that I've got, but more about that. Yeah, so they want to put, um, they put offerings like to the departed spirits. Uh, a lot of people in this country and other countries in Southeast Asia believe that the departed spirits of the previous living people uh, may inhabit the area or that the previous spirits of their um, antecedents, their parents, their grandparents and so on, going back along the family lines, um, they're being given offerings to wish them well in their next life. And also kind of founded on a Buddhist principle of giving merit. So it's a positive thing. Uh, often you see uh, some food, not like cooked food, but um, usually fruit and bottles of water or cans of juice. And so what the owner of the home or the business or someone in the family will come out in the morning and pray three times with the joystick split. And that's the purpose of the spirit house. And another thing about spirit houses is the larger the business, so near us there's a place called Dagfarang, which is like um, a shopping centre with a food court and a big bar there, a big pub owned by an English guy, and other businesses, and a big supermarket. Um, and they have a big spirit house just behind the back of the food court, which is at the front of Gaffarang, just off the road. And it's very big. Why? Because the land that Gaffarang is built on is very big. So the larger the land, the larger the spirit house to reflect, reflect the size of the land and the size of the business. Okay, second topic. Um, yeah, different uh, areas of Thailand. Um, these are historical. They have cultural um, effects, if you like, and uh, those cultural things have got to do with language, music, arts, uh, dress, and skin color even, because in the north, the temperatures are not as hot as, say, way down in the south, Phuket, uh, Malaysia border, uh, Hadiai, for example. So, the four regions or areas of Thailand are, we've got of course Northern Thailand, Lana area, used to be a kingdom but was incorporated into Thailand. Then there's Isan out to the uh, east going from the north down to round about the middle of Thailand. Very large area, very, very agricultural and you find that a lot of people move from there into the city to work but then their parents or their family home is back in the village um, then you've got central thailand where bangkok is or utr is and then you've got the south uh, where you've got three provinces that kind of border malaysia and there are many more muslim people living there on the islands and around uh, the different uh, provinces that border and above the provinces that border Malaysia as well. So there you go. Um, I hope that helps. If you want to know anything uh, else about Chiang Mai, about Bantawai, uh, about noodles, just uh, put the comment down in, the, in below and please like and subscribe to keep this channel going. Um, so, you know, with your efforts, the, the minimum thing, you know, is sub hit subscribe and you'll be able to follow my journeys 
and see the world through my eyes. Okay, it's been great uh, hosting the, the live feed here. I might do one kind of on the way out. I'm going to track down Dua now, see where she is. Uh, it doesn't look like this water's coming because there's no, no one here to give it me. So, uh, catch you soon, whether it's on a live stream or yes, I have some videos coming out I'm currently working on. I've edited several already, but when I have a nice big batch, I'll be uh, sending those out two a week, maybe even three a week, but definitely two a week. So keep on regular, regular updates so you can follow some of the holidays and some of the destinations that we've been to. I'll just say one last thing. One of the destinations last summer was Ganchanaburi and you've probably heard of the River Kwai. If you haven't, look at Bridge on the River Kwai and try to watch it and you will see what that's all about. So we visited there and paid our uh, respects and our homage to the fallen soldiers. More on that when the videos are produced. Probably coming um, later this month. So perhaps a uh, pre-Christmas and a Christmas treat. Okay, take it easy. Catch you later. As ever, Neil, I get to know in the land of smiles. Bye-bye.